Okay, this tutorial is for the beginnings of section 2.2 .2 in our Math C30 course. And what we're going to be looking at specifically is what happens when we put an A in front of the sine x graph and when, what happens when we put a, another a coefficient in front of the x as well. And the way we're going to look at that is we're going to uh, analyze it quickly by looking at the calculator to see what happens with each graph. And then I'm going to show you the method of hand drawing for each one. So the first thing I'm going to look at, and I'm going to probably have to break this into maybe three uh, tutorials in the hand drawn part, but let's look at the effect of A on the sine and coast graph. The sine and coast graph are similar in that they have the same periods and then they have the same maximum minimums, they just have a little bit different shape uh, in them. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and graph y equals 5 cos x. But what we need to do, try to understand, is what happens to the 5, what effect does that 5 have on our coast graph? So what I'm going to do this time, and I think I'm going to, I think it'll be better if I don't shine as much light on the screen there. I, I was looking at the tutorials with their other screen there, and it was a bit shiny. So I'm going to zoom in here on this calculator. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw three graphs on the calculator of cos and compare what happens to them so that we can discover what happens. So here we are, we'll turn on the calculator, we will go to our window and I want to, you, we're going to use uh, the same settings, uh, x minimum and x maximum is negative 2 pi radians and positive 2 pi radians. We're going to say the x scale is pi over 2 radians, the y maximum and minimum that we're going to use is going to be negative 5 and 5 because we're going to see what happens to the graph as it changes with the uh, value of A. And then the Y scale is still going to be 1. Okay, so there we have our settings in our calculator. Now all we have to do is we have to push the Y equals button and what we want to do, I still have the tan graph in here but we're going to clear that. And what I want to do is I want to put in the cos graph. So put cos bracket x bracket. So that's the regular coast graph. So that if I hit the graph button, there is our regular coast graph. Notice that it's only going up to one and it's taking that regular shape in there. Looks good. So now let's do two manipulations to see what happens to the graph. So go back to y equals and leave that in there so that we know what that one is. And let's put in 5 cos x. So put in 5 cos x bracket x, close the bracket, and hit the graph button. So here we have the first graph coming up. Okay, there we have it. Here's the second graph. Hmm. Note what happened here. Okay, it went from 1 all the way up to 5, and went from negative 1 all the way down to negative 5 at its maximum minimum points. However, it still crossed the axis at, the, at 0 at the same points of 0 that the coast graph did in the other one. Well, let's throw another graph in there, see if it still relates. Let's put in, uh, let's y equals button, and let's go down to the third one. Okay, now let's type in and put it in bra brackets. Go bracket 1 over 2, or 1 divided by 2, meaning a half. Close the bracket. Cos, and then bracket for the x. And close that bracket. So I got 1 half cos x. What we'd expect there is that it would only rise half as much as the other one. So let's hit the graph button. Okay, there's the first graph going in, y equals cos x. There's the second graph going in, 5 cos x, y equals 5 cos x. And the third graph comes in there, y, half, y equals a half cos x. So you can see that directly the a value or the a coefficient, the single coefficient in front of it, determines the amplitude of the function. So then if you were going back to hand drawing now, I'm going to zoom back out. So when you go to the hand drawing part of this, because we see the 5 there, we know that the maximum and minimum values are not 1. So if we were to draw, it would have the exact same shape. So the trick is, is to leave, draw your axis, y and x, 
okay? And to draw the same shape of a regular coast graph. So you still have pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi on the positive axis side. And you still have the same here on the negative side. And we're going with radians, of course. Okay. Now, so all we have to do is copy a regular coast graph, regular coast shape we know. So let's say the maximum is going to be up here. So we know a regular coast graph goes like this, and the minimum goes down to there. So we know that a, a regular coast graph goes like this. Okay, there, 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 giving us that W shape. And there, and then same over here, there, 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 and here. Okay, because I know that it's a it's going to be higher. I made my axis up higher. Notice I didn't put a, a unit in there yet. So we can sketch in the coast shape. Okay, so now all we need to do is we know that this maximum is going to be 5 and this minimum it's going to be negative 5. So then we can, you know, cut this into a regular one. I kind of went down to 6 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I didn't, I should have had this one up here maybe. So should have been like that. Went a 1 too far. Okay, so there got to be careful with your axis. Even if I label it there, it just, so we can see that that would be what it would look like. This would be instead of 1 and negative 1, 5 and negative 5. So that's the effect it has on cos and sine. Sine would be similar because it, it would have the same shape as a sine graph, but it would look, um, it would have a higher amplitude. So A affects the amplitude. If it's less than 1, it makes it smaller. If it's greater than 1, it makes it bigger. Okay, so the next tutorial will be looking at what happens to the tangent graph.